This is my 2012 13-inch MacBook Air. It's currently running macOS 10.13 High Sierra, which at the time of recording this video is over 6 years out of date. This leaves it vulnerable to security risks and severely limits the number of modern apps that work with it. This machine can officially run up to macOS 10.15 Catalina, but at 4 years old, support is also wavering and we face similar problems. So this begs the question, is there a way to keep this machine usable and up to date? Today, we're going to have a look at using macOS High Sierra in what is practically 2024, and Ventura using OpenCore Legacy Patcher, and hopefully we can decide on the best course of action should you, like me, own a Mac of similar vintage. Mac OS 10.13 High Sierra runs very well on this machine. It's snappy and things happen as soon as you click them. Performance wise, it's a great experience, even by modern standards. The issue is that this operating system is over 6 years old. Most modern apps simply do not support it. Of course old versions are available if you know where to look. For example, I'm running the Firefox Extended Support Release build. But if you need to use the latest apps, High Sierra leaves you behind. There's also the security risks. It's hard to say exactly how likely it is you'll be affected by this, and I've always said that so long as you're careful with the websites you visit and you're vigilant with your security, the chances are low. It's definitely not ideal to be transmitting sensitive information on an OS as old as this, but there are things you can do to help improve your chances of staying secure. The Firefox extended support release goes a long way, and it includes the same security patches as the standard release. Managing your passwords and personal information properly also helps. Essentially, it's a risk, but it's hard to know how large that risk is, especially on an operating system that is essentially obsolete. So, what if you do need that modern security and the ability to run the latest apps? In recent years, the folks working on OpenCore Legacy Patcher have made huge strides. OCLP, as it's abbreviated, offers a way to install currently supported versions of macOS on old hardware. Whether it's a good experience likely varies greatly. It just so happens that I have an OpenCore Legacy Ventura install USB ready to go. It really is as simple as downloading the OCLP app, which builds a custom installer for your system. You can find more information on the OCLP guide, which I'll link in the description. But how does it perform? Well, on this low-spec 2012 MacBook Air, it installs and runs and everything works, but the performance is noticeably worse. System preferences, weirdly, seems to be the worst offender, but the OS UI in general and Apple apps perform quite poorly. So on the one hand, we now have the option to install the latest version of apps and all of the security improvements that modern Mac OS brings, but it's just so slow. On this machine in particular, immediately following install, the CPU temperature and fan speed skyrocketed, hitting over 100 degrees Celsius and max fan speed right away. This was due to the indexing task that runs following a fresh Mac OS install. Though it wasn't just the indexing. Even after I disabled Spotlight, the CPU wanted to turbo boost constantly. Simple tasks like browsing the web or chatting on Discord proved too much for the system with the newer OS and those high temperatures and fan speeds became pretty much permanent with the CPU running at full pelt all the time. To fix the temperatures and loud fans, I installed a Turbo Boost Disabler, which reduced the temperatures to between 60 and 80 degrees Celsius depending on load, and kept fan speeds down. The obvious downside to this is even worse performance, since the CPU can no longer boost. So who is this suitable for? Ventura installs and runs, and not much more. It doesn't perform well, but if you have patience, I would have to say that this is usable. You'd be looking at doing this if you absolutely need to run the latest version of basic apps, like web browsers and office apps, and if you're using this as a daily machine that you do banking or other sensitive tasks on. But if, like me, you're using this machine as an every now and then, or googling slash reddit slash web forum browser, you can definitely get by on High Sierra. This machine can run Mac OS 10.15 Catalina, but performance is still worse than High Sierra, and it drops support for 32-bit apps, which can be a pain. Ultimately, it's a tough one. 
This machine is classed as obsolete in 2023, and if you want a good experience on a Mac, you're gonna need to upgrade. I have no doubt that higher spec machines than my 2012 MacBook Air would cope much better running later versions of macOS. Think the 2015 MacBook Pro onwards with 16 plus gigabytes of RAM. But let me know what you think in the comments. Have any of you done this? Maybe some of you daily drive a Mac of this vintage with open core legacy patcher. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.